I don't want to go get tested. Last week, Nelson Kwan and his wife Abby spent time at their local cafe in Beijing, played golf, and were planning a trip to beaches in southern China. On Monday, they were asked to take COVID-19 tests, along with everyone living in their residential compound. Okay, so I just finished having my throat swabbed. The discovery of a new outbreak in nearby Fengtai district sparked a lockdown of around 20 neighborhoods on Sunday. And they're ra very rapid in terms of how fast they, they reacted to this. Um, I mean, it is kind of scary to just, I mean, it's like all, out of the blue, like where the hell did this freaking virus come from, right? The new cluster, reportedly originating in Xin Fadi, the biggest wholesale food market in Beijing, is threatening China's economic recovery. Industrial output is bouncing back. In May, it rose by 4.4 percent compared to this time last year. But retail sales fell by almost 3 percent. And fears of a second wave of infections could keep consumers cautious. It probably shows that there are some um, more problems in uh, food supply and also the government's ability to contain this virus. So I think people will be very cautious um, in their spending. More than 80,000 people have been tested since Friday. Dozens are confirmed to have COVID-19. On the other side of Beijing, it's business as usual, but temperature and security checks have intensified. Schools due to reopen this week remain closed. Some travel restrictions reintroduced. China's government has sacked officials in charge of Beijing's Fengtai district and are trying to reassure everyone that the situation is under control. But after almost two months of no local infections, residents are afraid that hard-won gains in containing the outbreak have been lost. That sense of fear does uh, come. You know, I mean, anybody who has enjoyed and has tasted the sense of being able to go back to a sense of normalcy, uh, to see it go backwards, it's any, anybody will feel like that. Nelson Kwan will be watching numbers closely hoping his family and neighbours remain COVID-19 free. Katrina Yu, Al Jazeera, Beijing.